Now in the 18th year of King Jeroboam mm -hmm. began Abijah to reign over Judah. The King Abijah. So when we look in Nigeria, in Abia State, we have a called town with Abijah. And the name of this town goes back to the name King Abijah, changed due to the letter J being pronounced as a Y. And so if you look at the word Ebo, mm -hmm. that came from the word what? Ebo, or so yeah. like he Hebrew. rules. Hebrew. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So over time, yeah. we just okay. we lost some of our history in slavery. That's why it's so mixed up a little bit. And he said, Abba, Father. Abba, Father. Now, in Europe, but what is the term for Father? Baba. Abba. So we see the correlation of the scriptures to our language today has been passed down. A very good afternoon to you on the other side of the radio. Uh, time check is 30 minutes on top of the hour of 12 p.m. And uh, this is Zendas Radio 105, the 7 FM, Uwere. We bring to you today, uh, this time, the truth about Nigerians. And uh, this is telling you that you Nigerians are Jews. Okay, and uh, with me in the studio, I would like to make a quick introduction. I am Cool DJ Blaze. You'll be in the dude on radio and TV, the one you call the B to the N to the B. You can call me your Libera, which is your Anthony. And with me is... Uh, Raising honey to class and Evans. Mm. Okay, and we have uh, uh, some gentlemen in the studio today, and we would let them, the owners of introducing themselves. Yes, hello, I'm Officer Micah of Israel United in Christ. Mm. Uh, Officer Ibuka of Israel United in Christ. All right, so we have Micah and Ibuka on the <coughs> show today. This is the truth about Nigerians, and uh, we, I, I am I'm so... I, I'm trying to see myself, picture myself as a Jew, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to picture myself as a Jew right now. You're confused, sir, right? I am. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> well, history has a way of uh, twisting our minds and uh, actually, again, bringing us back to what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'd like to go straight into details. Uh, tell us about yourself. Yes, sir. So um, Israel United in Christ, we are a faith-based, Bible-backed organization that was founded in 2003 by Bishop Nathaniel. And our goal is to spread the word like Christ and the apostles did and teach our people, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, so-called mm -hmm. Hispanics, Native Americans, mm -hmm. and the other Africans spread throughout the diaspora that we are the true Israelites of the Bible. Okay. Now, if we are the true Israelites of the Bible, yes, sir. who are those Israelites that ooh, we know now? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So who are these Israelis that we know yeah, now? Let's, the let's, Israelis that we know yes, now. Yes, sir. We yeah. can get that. Let me get that in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Let's start there. Who are the people inhabiting the mm -hmm. land of Israel right now? The book of Revelation chapter 2 <clears throat> verse 9. Mm -hmm. I know thy works. So Christ said, I know thy works. I know your works, the real Jews. Mm -hmm. And tribulation. And tribulation, your trials. And poverty. And poverty that the real Jews as a nation will be poor and destitute. But thou art rich. But... Thou rich. How is that possible? According to Romans 9 and 4, all of the blessings, the covenants, the promises of God, the service of God, all those things were given only to the Israelites. So that is how even though as a nation we're, we're uh, physically poor, but we are still spiritually rich because the Bible was given only to us. Mm. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. So Jesus Christ said, I know the blasphemy, the lie against God. Of them that say they are Jews and are not. And are not. Because like I said earlier, a lot of people in the world call them the Jews, even though they mm -hmm. just got to the land in 1948 from the Khazar Mountains. Okay. And are not. And are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. But are the synagogue of Satan. That's who those people are. They are the synagogue of Satan, those Israelis in the land right now. Mm. Give me Titus about Jewish fables. And I'm going to show you how we got a warning from Titus not to follow those Jewish customs and fables. It's getting interesting. Let's keep listening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you say Titus on fables? Yes, sir. Yes, Titus talked about not following those Jewish fables. I believe it's 1 and 11, 1 and 14. The book of Titus, mm -hmm. chapter 1 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. Not giving heed. Not giving heed or listening to. Mm -hmm. To Jewish fables. To Jewish fables or lies. And commandments of men. And commandments of men. Like what? Wearing those yarmulkes. Wearing mm -hmm. zitzits, zits. Cutting off chicken heads. Doing circumcisions on babies with your mouth. Not believing in Christ, those are commandments of men that isn't in the Bible. That turn from the truth. That turn from the truth. All the things that they teach in Judaism turn us from the truth of the Bible. So our people mm -hmm. in Nigeria who know they are Jews and come from their descendants should not be following Judaism. We need to follow the whole Bible. Now when we say Nigerians are mm -hmm. Jews, 
Nigerians in <clears throat> totality or a certain group in Nigeria, ethnic group. Okay. So a certain ethnic group, the ones who came from the East, the ones who could track their oral history back to the East, the Shemitic mm -hmm. Nigerians, so from the Igbo, from the Yoruba, from the Hausa, from the Igala. Mm -hmm. There's many of us who travel here to this land and we mingled with the certain Hermetic races that were here. Mm -hmm. But the majority of us came from the East down through the Nile. And we can prove that in prophecy in the scriptures, how we got to this land. I'd like to see. Yes, yeah, so let's go to Luke 20, uh, Luke 20, 21. And even though we also became through the Nile, we came down through Egypt and Sudan, mm -hmm. we're going to show how we did that and why we did that. Why do we leave Jerusalem? The book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. And when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies. So Christ prophesied that Jerusalem will become passed with armies. Mm -hmm. That's talking about 70 AD when General Vespasian and Titus finally finished the siege and destroyed Jerusalem. Then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then know that our destruction is close. It's coming soon. Mm -hmm. Then let them which are in Judea. Then those that are inside Judea in the land in the city. Flee to the mountains. Flee to the mountains. Let's see. Who else flew to the, who else fled to the mountains? Let's go to Matthew 2 and 13. Let's see an example of where we fled to from Jerusalem. Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. Mm -hmm. And when they were departed, mm -hmm. behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Because remember when Herod wanted to kill Christ, he wanted mm -hmm. to find him and kill him when he was a baby. So the, the most I got to the angel to give him a message. Saying, arise, arise and take the young child and his mother. Take Christ and Mary. And flee into Egypt. And flee into Egypt. So, hmm. And back then, Egypt was a primarily black country, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, continent. Right, right. So, if I'm trying to hide from somebody, that's Roman, that's white. Mm -hmm. Would I go around other white people or would I go around other black people? Mm, okay. I would go around people that look like me. I could blend in color-wise. Mm -hmm. So, if Mary was a Jew, Joseph was a Jew, Christ was a Jew, and they hid among other black races, what color were they? What color was Christ? They had to be black. They had to be black. And they fled to Egypt to hide, to blend in. They couldn't go up near Rome and Greece yeah. and blend in. They mm -hmm. had to go where more... Of course, we had our people still in Greece and Rome, mm -hmm. but in, in mass in Egypt. So now let's go back to Luke 21. Luke 21, verse 21. Mm -hmm. Then let them which are in Judea mm -hmm. flee to the mountains. Flee to the mountains of Africa. And the fly, you can see how, how topographical and how mountainous the continent of Africa is. Mm-hmm. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And if you're in the midst of it, leave the city, leave Jerusalem. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. If you come back to Jerusalem, don't do it. Christ said, do not come back. For these be the days of vengeance. These are the days of vengeance. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. All things that were written must be fulfilled, going all the way back to Deuteronomy 28 and the curses that would fall upon the Israelites for not keeping God's commandments. This was prophesied way before during Moses' time. But woe unto them that are with child. But destruction unto them who are with child, who are carrying babies at this time. And to them that give suck that in breast, those days. That are breastfeeding. For there shall be a great distress in the land. There shall be a great distress in the land. They seized the city. They cut off our food. They cut off our water. We were fighting one another, killing one another. Some of us were eating our children because the food was cut off. And wrath upon the people. Mm -hmm. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. And they, the Israelites, would fall by the edge of the sword. And shall be led away captives. And we will be led away captives. Into all nations. Into all nations. So, DJ Blaze, what nation of people, what race of people have been spreading slavery across all nations of the earth? That it'll be black. It'll be us. Hey, Brita. And Jerusalem. And Jerusalem. Shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. Shall be destroyed by the Gentiles, the other mm. nations. Until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And their time is going to be up soon when Christ come back. And Gentiles there is referring to other nations, but sometimes in the New Testament, it is referring to the northern kingdom of Israel as well, too, who followed Gentile customs. Like me, I was born in, in America. So uh, people will call me an American because of my, mm. my identification, maybe the way I dress, the way I speak. Mm -hmm. But my blood lineage doesn't go back to those Europeans, just mm -hmm. my uh, identification. And, you know, uh, kind of like Paul, uh, he was an Israelite, mm -hmm. but he had Roman citizenship. Okay. Okay, now let me let me ask a question about, uh, before you go forth. All right, go ahead. Yes, sir. Now, uh, you, you regard yourself <clears throat> and ourselves mm -hmm. with a brown and black skin. Yes, sir. As the real Jew, right? Yes, sir. Now, who were these uh, Jews that were sent back from Egypt by Pharaoh? Those were us too. Who, were, who was Moses? Moses was Moses we, led, Moses Moses, led yes. the Jews. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and they yes, crossed the, uh, the Red Sea. The Red Sea. Yes, the Red yes, sea. Sir. yes sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I went over this. Who were they? They were us too. Let's get the color of Moses. They, they were Israelites as well too. Let's, let's get the color of Moses, then let's get Deuteronomy 20 to show who those people were. Exodus, let's get the uh, color of Moses when he... Uh, yes, sir. The book of Exodus, chapter 
4 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. And Moses was from the tribe of Levi. So let's see what color the Levites were. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, mm -hmm. Put now thy hand into thy bosom. He told him, Put your hand in your bosom, in your garment. And he put his hand into his bosom. Mm -hmm. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Mm, behold, mm. it was leprous as snow, meaning white. We know what leprosy is. And he said, Put thy hand into thy bosom again. So he said to him, put it back in his bosom and his garment. And he put his hand into his bosom again mm -hmm. and plucked it out of his bosom. And took it out. And behold, it it was turned again as his other flesh. As his other flesh. What's the opposite of white? What's the opposite of leprous? Black, mm. his original skin tone. Now, uh, we have many... But you know, you know whites too yes, get leprosy too? I'm sorry? A white person can have leprosy. Yes, they can have leprosy, but... We can prove to you that uh, the, uh, Moses was black and the Israelites were black. We, as many, let's go to let's go to Genesis. Let's go mm -hmm. back to Genesis the first man. Let's go let's go back back back. They, that's true. They can't have leprosy, but it's a back as his other flesh. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't leprous like white. It wasn't white it anymore. Wasn't white it was anymore. back to black. That's that's why I said as his other flesh. Genesis man, chapter man. two verse seven. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. What color is mm -hmm. the dirt? What color is the dust of in Nigeria? What color is mm -hmm. the ground? It's brown. It's brown. And the deeper you go, does it get lighter or does it get darker? No, it gets darker. But, but, but you, but it, it gets, Europe, it gets but, darker. But, but, but even in Europe and America, the color of the dust is brown. Too. Yeah, exactly. So, it made, so what does it mean? The first man was still black. Keep and reading. the Lord God formed man of the dust mm -hmm. of the ground mm -hmm. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So let's go to Deuteronomy 28 to show you how we know that those Israelites that fled out of Egypt are the same people as us today. And also, we have history books. There's a book called Babylon Timbuktu, where it talks about how the black Jewish slaves built up the pyramids. And we can prove that to you. Deuteronomy 28 and uh, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter mm -hmm. 28 and verse 15. No, let's get one on one. Let's prove the audience. Let's go to chapter 1, verse 1, to prove who Moses is talking to. Deuteronomy, chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 1. Mm -hmm. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all the Israelites. On this side, Jordan, in uh -huh. the wilderness. Uh -huh. On this side, Jordan, the wilderness, after they left Egypt, correct? Okay, now let's go to 28, and let's see what he told them. 28 and verse 15. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. I mean, this is going to happen. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will not listen to God's commandments. To observe to do all his commandments mm -hmm. and his statutes, mm -hmm. which I command thee this day. That what? That all these curses. All these curses. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses from verse 15 on 68 would come upon us and overtake us. So now let's read a few curses that align to us today. Now what are they all? The black people. The Israelites. The Israelites. And we come mm. in all shades of black. We now come, the Israelites. We come from, from, we come from the blackest of black like seal to the lightest of lightest. Like we have uh, we have people here in Nigeria who have a mm. uh, uh, vitiligo who might seem mm. like they're white. But we can tell by the albinos. We said by the phenotype, they're Nigerian. We can produce any skin tone color. No, no, we, we no, 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 no. Listen, uh, Michael. Uh, Micah. 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 Yes, sir. Micah, no. Now, I do know that the black skin, uh, skin uh, to, uh, you know, pigmentation. Okay. Uh, black and brown. Okay. We here can be categorized as black. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, this man says what, what, that what this, color? Man, this man appears darker. Correct. Mm -hmm. Then... Than, 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 than me and you. Than me and you. Right, right. Huh? Okay. Now, this man is in the middle. I, I, I'm sorry, just, uh, the, the listeners are not saying what yeah. we're describing. Yeah, but we understand what you're saying. But, mm -hmm. but, but they do understand what, mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the Ethiopians, mm -hmm. and the, probably the, the Ethiopians, the Somalians, mm -hmm. have the brown color. Correct. There, there's like there too. There's like all over Africa. But, but they're all black. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Fine. Yes, sir. Where do you, who are the Caucasians? So, okay, let me finish answering your first question first. I never yes. finished your question about how we know there's lots of black. Let me answer that, and okay. I'll show you where the Caucasians came from. That's, that's a very good question. Genesis. Mm. I don't know. Let's, let's finish that. How we know that there's lots of black. 20 and 32 and 33. Deuteronomy and 28. A certain group of people. And verse 32. Mm -hmm. Thy sons and thy daughters. So your sons and your daughters. Shall be given unto another people. Will be given mm. unto another people. Who did that happen to in history? Only us. Keep reading in and mass. Th and thine eyes shall uh -huh. look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Why were we looking and failing? Why were our eyes longing and looking at them all the day long? Because when the slave ships left the west coast of Africa, we couldn't do anything when our children were taken across the world, across to North America, to South America, uh, uh, taken down across to, uh, to Arabia and to the East Indian or up towards Spain. 
And there shall be no might in thine hand. We had no political, economic, or military might to do anything. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land. The fruit of our land. The fruit of the land in Nigeria. Whether it be our cobalt. Whether it be uh, our palm. Whether it be our oil. Whether it be our gold. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor. And all of the work that we do here in the country. Shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. There's only one race of people where other nations come into their land and take all of their resources. It only happens to us. Nobody's going to Europe and taking the white man's resources. He has mm. no resources. Mm. He gets the resources from Africa. Keep reading. So nation which thou know, knowest not shall eat up right now in the north in um, Zamfara, close to, close to Abuja. The Chinese people are hiring terrorists to kill people and kidnap people so they get free of space for the gold mines. So then mm. we have the, the so-called white men. We have the East Indians coming into our land and taking our resources. And Keep thou shalt be only oppressed. And thou shalt only be oppressed. And crushed always. And crushed always. I'm going to get one more curse, then I'm going to answer your question about where did the Caucasian man come from. 28 and 68. Because this, this only happened to 60, actually 64 and 68. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. This happened only to the Israelites. This only happened to one nation of people, us. From the one end of the earth. Even unto the other. Transatlantic slave trade, sub-Saharan slave trade, East Africa slave trade, that only happened to us. And there. And there, in those lands where we got spread out. Thou shalt serve other gods. We would serve other gods outside of the Most High God, outside of Christ. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Which our forefathers or foremothers didn't praise down to. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. What are the two biggest religions in Africa that our people follow? Sons and wood. Christianity and, and Islam. Yeah. The wood is referring to the Christian cross, which goes back to Babylonian pagan worship. And the stone refers to the Kaaba stone. Mm -hmm. Those religions are not of God. Now mm -hmm. verse 68. Verse 68. There's things we learned in slavery. We was forced Christianity. Either follow white Jesus or die. Islam, mm -hmm. Mohammedism, either follow the Kaaba stone or die. Those are our only two choices. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt Again, so Egypt here is referring to bondage because Egypt before was called Egypt was called Mizraim, which means to constrict. It was a land known for captivity. They had many nations in captivity, including us in majority. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again, again with ships. So we know we walked out of Egypt. So knowing we're taking a ship back in, this is referring to the majority of our people getting taken from the west coast of Africa, taken to America today, which is spiritual Egypt and Sodom. And you see it on the dollar bill. You see the pyramids. You see the obelisk in Washington, D.C. Did, did, did you say spiritual okay. Egypt? Yes. America is spiritual Egypt and Sodom and Babylon today. Yes, sir. And we can prove that. But I'm answering your questions in, in unison. Yes, sir. Mm. By the <laughs> way, <laughs> by the way whereof I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. We wouldn't see those same Egyptians again. Because right now, are there original Egyptians in the land right now? Well, who was it? It's the Arabs and the whites mixed mixed in Egypt now, right? Yeah. The original Egyptians are now in Sudan and in um, South Sudan. Because of what they did to the Israelites, God threw their kingdom down. When he destroyed Egypt, they were totally obliterated. And there... And there in those lands in North America and other places... Ye shall be sold... Ye shall be sold... Unto your enemies... Unto your enemies... For bondmen... For slave men... And bond women... And slave women... And no man shall buy you. And no man can redeem us. Uh, Marcus Garvey couldn't redeem us. Uh, 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 Malcolm X couldn't redeem us. Who else? Uh, uh, Patrice Lumumba couldn't redeem us. Yeah. Right, right. No, 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 no one man can do that. Christ has to be the one to do that. We've had many leaders who have showed the right step to do that, but only Christ can come and redeem us from this captivity. Now. All right, here is me with Diana Ross, and uh, the sir, uh, we've been talking about uh, the truth about Nigerians and uh, Nigerians being the real Jews. I am Oliver Uchechko Anthony, cool DJ Blaze, Ebuka, and uh, Micah, and finally we have Prince Ivan Sihani too in the building. We're talking about, uh, we're going back a, li a little back into history and <laughs> trying to, at the same time, I think Micah is trying to prove uh, with. Facts, right? I would, yes, I would say I'm, facts I'm, from I'm the scripture. The Holy Bible. Okay, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, that uh, we Nigerians, most of we Nigerians, yes, are yes. Jews, yes, the sir. real Jews, yes, actually. Sir. Yes. Okay, and uh, let me start with this question: mm -hmm. What is your purpose? Your purpose here what is in Nigeria? Purpose? What is that? That's a great question. Let's get um, Isaiah forty-nine yeah, and five. Yes. What, why do you what you're doing? Yes. yes, sir, yes sir. What is what is the purpose yes, for this? Isaiah forty nine and five. Then we'll jump to Luke fourteen twenty three. Mm -hmm. Isaiah forty nine and verse five. Mm -hmm. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb. Now saith the Lord who formed me from the womb. So I just want to point out that um the Most High God and Christ formed us from the womb. So when our sisters are committing abortion, no matter what the trimester is, that is murder. 
The Most High God puts mm-hmm. a soul in that zygote, no matter how small it is. But keep reading. To be his servant. And to be his servant. We're God's servants. We're Christ's servants. To bring Jacob again to him. To bring Jacob to wake up our people, the lost Israelites, about, about who we are today. Because we've been scattered and we lost our ancestry. Though Israel be not gathered. Though all the twelve tribes were not gathered together yet. Mm-hmm. Yet, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And my Lord shall be my strength. So God will be our strength while we're continuing this mission. Luke 14, 23. Luke 14, 23. Because our goal is to bring our people back to repentance and mm-hmm. back to salvation. Because we can only attain salvation if we repent as Israelites, keep the commandments, and endure until the end. I can't just say I'm an Israelite now. And then I go continuing to all my foolishness I used to do. No, mm-hmm. when Christ come back, he's going to be judging us until from the day we're born to the day we live. Mm-hmm. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. Mm-hmm. And the Lord said unto the servant. So Christ said unto us. Go out into the highways and hedges. So I got to take a jab at my brothers and sisters, our pastors in the black African community. We have to go out to the highways and hedges, not sit up in a church and take people's money and say we give them fake miracles, fake blessings. We have to go out to teach our people like Christ and the apostles did. We got to go to where the sick is at, where the sinners are at. We got to go to them and teach them. And compel them to come in. And compel them to come in, meaning teach them to come in. That my house may be filled. That Christ's house may be filled. His shepherd, I'm sorry, his flock may be filled. So mm-hmm. that's what we're doing. We're going out to all over the earth to teach our people who they are so Christ's house can be filled. And Christ is only coming back when a certain amount of Israelites are sealed and have repented. So if we want Christ to come back, we got to teach our people. All right, I have, a couple, of, yes, I have a couple of other questions for you. <clears throat> but before that, we'll open up the phone lines in case people mm-hmm. want to call in. A number to call if you want to be a part of the show will be 081-606-361-87. Mm-hmm. If you want to be a part of the show, you can also send in your SMS, your calls, and uh, you can also reach us on WhatsApp on the same number, 081-606-361-87. All right, I have two questions yes, for sir. you before we go further. Uh, this would be, what is the difference from what we teach than the Christian uh, in the Christian church mm-hmm. and pastors. Okay, what's the difference from what you teach and what we teach here as Christians and pastors? Then uh, moving forward, we have another one. Can we find Nigerian history, particularly Nigeria? Mm-hmm. Now, you tried uh, to, would I say paint the picture or to prove mm-hmm. that uh, Nigerians are really Jews? Mm-hmm. Can we yes, really sir. find something about Nigeria? In the Bible. Yes, sir. Can we yes, do sir. something like that? Yes, sir. Um, so first, let's get Malachi 2 and 7. Let's get Old Testament. Then we're going to jump to, to uh, Matthew 15 and 3. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so this is the difference. Uh, I'm going to show you the difference. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Yes, sir. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So a priest is another name for a pastor, a preacher, correct? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So their lips should keep knowledge, which is what? And they should seek the law at his mouth. So the majority, 99.9% of Christian churches aren't teaching our people to keep the laws of God correctly. Mm-hmm. They're omitting, they're adding unto the law, they're not teaching, thus save the Lord. Get Matthew 15 and 3. That's the difference. The book of That's Matthew, difference. chapter 15 and verse 3. Mm-hmm. But he answered and said unto them, why do ye also transgress the commandment of God? He said, why do you transgress the command to the Pharisees? Why do you transgress the commandments of God? Mm-hmm. By your tradition. By your traditions, by adding in things like Christmas to the church, adding things like birthday celebrations, uh, Sunday worship, which is outside of keeping the Sabbath day. The Christian church has added so many traditions, so many ceremonies that's not in the scriptures that our people are following today blindly and I'm thinking. Such as mm-hmm. Easter celebration. Mm-hmm. Such as Easter, yes sir. Easter goes back to Ishtar, Astarte, Greek, Greek goddesses. And all mm-hmm. those religions go back to Nimrod, Babylonian. 99%, I know I'm saying the number a lot, 99% of, ba- of uh, holidays today go back to Babylonian customs. Uh, let's get that in, um, so we got, we read Matthew 15 and 3? Mm-hmm. Oh, what else we got? Uh for the question was about what are we the difference, correct? Oh, mm-hmm. Jeremiah, Jeremiah seven fourteen, Jeremiah seventeen and four. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Our heritage, because of course we teach the laws, but we got to teach the people our heritage too, because the laws are our heritage. The book of Jeremiah chapter <clears throat> seventeen and verse four. Mm-hmm. And thou, even thyself, mm-hmm. shalt discontinue from thy heritage. So, Jer- a prophecy that was told through Jeremiah that thou thyself would discontinue thy heritage. So, right now we're reteaching our people our heritage again through the scriptures and through. Uh, historical references that coincide with the Bible. That's nothing that we're doing that the Christian church isn't doing and will not do because they have to follow what the Catholic umbrella mm-hmm. pushes down to our people to teach them, to keep us still in that mental slavery mindset. Just like in slavery, when we had Sunday worship, 
which was wrong and correct already, we had an overseer always watching what we were teaching to make sure we didn't go out of line. All right. Uh, the second question was, uh, can we find Nigerian history in the Bible? And also, we have a message from someone. Yes, sir. His name is Peter from Oweri, mm -hmm. and he says, which countries of the world are Jews and in which are Israelites? Okay, okay, okay. And which are Israelites? Okay, okay. okay. I, I think which it comes... Which one first? Which uh, one? We'll take this first. Can we find Nigerian history in the Bible? Then we'll take this other one from okay. Peter. Let's look at these two examples here. Um, uh, let's get a Second Chronicles 13 and 1 and Mark 14 and 36 to find specifically... Because, of course, the, uh, it's not just Nigerians. Of course, we have Ethiopian Israelites. We have yeah, Israelites in good. Ghana. Mm -hmm. And I was, was, was going to say, uh, there was no country called Nigeria. Exactly. Yeah, there wasn't. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So we're, we're going to go yeah, through yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. What it used to name. be. Yes. What it used to be yes, yes. that we could judge from that. Yes, yes sir. Yes, chapter sir. 13 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. And now in the 18th year of King Jeroboam, began Abijah to reign over Judah. The king Abijah. So when we look in Nigeria, in Abia State, we have a called town, what? Abaya. And the name of this town goes back to the name King Abijah, changed due to the letter J being pronounced as a Y. Now let's get Mark 14 and 36. Because we brought some of our history back with us. And even look at the word Ebo. Mm -hmm. That came from the word what? Hebo, which is the original yeah. Hebrews. Hebrew. Yes, Hebrew, sir. Yeah. yes, sir. So over time, Hebrew, we just okay. we lost some of our history in slavery. That's why it's so mm -hmm. mixed up a little bit. And uh, we also celebrate the uh, New Yam Festival. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? The New Moon Festival we kept in the scriptures as a Sabbath day. Yeah, Feast of the Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. And Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, uh, one more, one more. I'm finished answering that question. Mark 14 and 36. I got to get something from, from, from my uh, year of my brethren as well, too. Okay. <laughs> the book of Mark, chapter 14 and verse 36. Uh huh. And he said, Abba, Father. Abba, Father. Now, and you're, but what is the term for Father? Baba. 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 Yeah. So we see the correlation in the scriptures to our language today has been passed down. So that's just two, two more specific correlations. But there's many scriptures that talk about us being in Africa. And that I think the second question will line up and show even more. Mm. So how do we know where, what country are the Israelites at? That's the question, correct? And where yeah. the Jews at? Okay. Mm. So Israelite and Jews, that term could, that could be used interchangeably. But more specifically, mm. the Jews refers to the southern kingdom of Israel. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Now, all the 12 tribes are the Israelites. Remember, there was a split in the kingdom mm -hmm. uh, during, after King Solomon's reign. Yeah. But let's get, do not, well, you got some? Oh, I just need a mic. Well, oh, yeah, let's read. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's read. Oh, yeah, let's read that. That's, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Acts 13 and 1. The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Now, there were in the church that was Antioch. So, now it's a church that was in Antioch. This is when we were under, uh, under Roman rulership, but we still was able to practice some of our laws. Certain prophets and teachers, uh -huh. as Barnabas... And Simeon. So Barnabas and Simeon. That was called nigger. That was called what? Nigger. That was called nigger. nigger. Which, mm. Yes, yes. Mm. Which means black. Yeah. And what river is there in Nigeria? Negroes. Negroes. And that's okay. the New Testament. Now, <laughs> now, now Mike, on, uh, on uh, uh, DJ Blaze. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, African Americans mm -hmm. equally quarrel or fight for the word nigger. Negro, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, sir, mm -hmm. yes, sir. You know, and then the name Nigeria was mm -hmm. taken from that same word, uh, yeah. nigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just means black. Negro in Spanish, uh, uh, negro, it just means black is a title. That's all, it's just a main a way to call us to take us away from our real names. Judah, Benjamin, Ephraim, Levi, just another way But, to but if we're looking at it from this angle, blacks mm -hmm. do not fi find it uh, as a fault. They don't see it as a problem when a black person calls them mm -hmm. nigger. Mm -hmm. But they see it as a problem when a white person calls mm -hmm. them nigger. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. And that is because in, in America, that term was used while getting beat, while getting raped, while, mm -hmm. while getting buck, buck raped. Because they didn't rape women, they raped men as well too, while getting slashed across your back. That's why the connotation they, they associated with slavery and chattel slavery, that's why. But the word just means black. That's all it means. All right. Number to call is still 081 <laughs> if you want to be a part of the show. 081 uh, You can also send in your SMS. And we have this one, and it says, uh, does the Bible have solutions for the tumor in Nigeria? Yeah. Um, I'll give like one more script, and then I'll answer Peter's question. All right, this, is, this is a part of answering Peter's question. Where are the Jews? Because we've been scattered throughout okay. all the lands, correct? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 11 and 11. This is a prophecy of where the Israelites will be in the latter days, the later days. The book of Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass in, the, in that day. Meaning this will happen in that day, 
that the Lord shall set his hand again mm -hmm. the second time. The second time. To recover the remnant of his people. The remnant of his people, meaning what? The remainder of his people. You cook a big pot of jollof rice, you eat 75% of it, you come back in the middle of the night for the remnant of it, the remainder of it. Mm -hmm. So the second time, this is referring to the second time because in North America, since the 1960s, we've been teaching our people that we're the Israelites. That was the first awakening. But now our people in Africa are waking up more and more now, too, to who we are. Which shall be left from Assyria. Which shall be left from Assyria, which is modern-day Turkey. And from Egypt. Which is lower Egypt. And from Pathros. Which is upper Egypt. And from Kush. Kush, which is Ethiopia, like we talked about earlier. And from Elam. Elam, which is talking about uh, Iraq and India. And from Shinar. Uh, Sh sorry, sorry. Elam is Iran and India. Shinar is Iraq. My apologies. And from Hamath. Hamath, which is modern-day Syria. And from the islands of the sea. The Philippines, Cape Verde, St. Tome, all the many islands in the sea. We've been scattered through slavery. Uh, now get Deuteronomy 4. Oh, have a, yeah, Zephaniah 3 and 10. Yes, yes, yes. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. And from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. From beyond the rivers, so not just in Ethiopia, from beyond the rivers that flow out from Ethiopia. My suppliance. My suppliance. Even the daughter of my dispersed. The daughter of my dispersed. How do we get dispersed? Through slavery, like we read earlier in this. It's, the Bible is redundant. The daughter of my dispersed. Shall bring my offering. Keep reading. Because what? Because uh, the remnant... Uh, in that day, yeah, in that day, shalt thou not be ashamed of all thy doings. Jump down to verse twelve. Verse twelve. I will also 13, lead. Thirteen. Sorry, thirteen. That's what I want. Verse thirteen. Uh huh. The remnant of Israel. Like we read in Isaiah eleven and eleven. The remainder of Israel that will be spread throughout Africa shall not do iniquity. Shall not do sin. Meaning the ones who are truly Israelites will repent and start keeping the commandments. Okay. So that's the answer to Peter's question. Where are the Israelites? Right. They're scattered throughout the whole world. So, Peter, out there, I hope you have been answered. And if you have further questions, you can send in more SMS. Uh, this is, uh, does the Bible have solutions for the tomorrow in Nigeria? Yes, sir. Yes, it has many solutions. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 and start at verse 1. Because before the curses, there were blessings that were supposed to be promised to us if we kept continuing and keeping God's commandments. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass... If thou shalt hearken diligently mm -hmm. unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe and to do all his commandments, to do action work, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, will be set on high, above all nations of the earth, above all nations of the earth. And at one point during King Solomon's reign, we had that, but because of our sin, we lost it. But there is a way to get it back. Uh, let's go to Joshua one and eight. And then let's go to 1 Kings. 1 Kings 8. Let's jump to 1 Kings 8. Let's see the process. The process of repentance. To turn the curses back into blessings. 1 mm -hmm. Kings chapter 8 and verse 46. Mm -hmm. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. Because we've all sinned. And thou be angry with them. And God was angry with us. And delivered them to the enemy. Uh-oh. He delivered us to our enemies. So that they carried them away captives. Again, dispersed. We've been carried away captives. Unto the land of the enemy. Unto the land of our enemies. Far. Far. Or, like North America or China or, or South America. Or near. Or near like some parts of Africa or Europe or even uh, Asia. Yet. Yet. If they shall bethink themselves. We shall remember who we are. In the land where they were carried captive. Wherever we've been carried captive. And repent. And repent, meaning go come back to God's laws. And make supplication unto thee. Mm -hmm. In the land of them that would carry them captive. Mm -hmm. saying, saying, saying what? We have sinned. We have to confess our sins to God. And have done perversely. We've done perversely. We have committed wickedness. We have committed many wickednesses. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul. So we got to return unto God and Christ with our heart and our soul. Our heart meaning our mind. Because your heart, this muscle just pumps blood. It doesn't mm. make thoughts. It doesn't make you cheat on your wife. No. You think those thoughts in your head. You think to do evil or to do good. So when the Bible says your heart is referring to your mind and your soul referring to your spirit. In the land of their enemies, uh -huh. which led them away captive. Mm -hmm. So and wherever, whatever captive land we're in. And pray unto thee toward their land. Toward our land, which is Jerusalem. So when I'm in the States, I pray towards the east, towards Jerusalem. Here in Nigeria, you pray towards the northeast to pray towards Jerusalem. Because that's our land. Even though people mm -hmm. aren't happening right now, that's still our land. And Christ is going to come and reclaim it for us soon. Which thou hast given unto their fathers. Which thou hast given to our fathers. The city which thou hast chosen. Mm -hmm. And the house which I have built for thy name. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. Then. Then, he, after we repent, after we confess our sins and acknowledge that we are the Israelites. Then, hear thou their prayers. Then he will hear our prayers. And their supplication in heaven. Then it will reach the heavens. 
thy dwelling place uh -huh. and maintain their cause. Verse 50, and what will happen after that? And forgive thy people. And will get forgiveness. That have sinned against thee. Mm -hmm. And all their transgression wherein they have transgressed against thee. Uh -huh. And give them compassion before them that carry them captive. Mm -hmm. That they may have compassion on them. So that's the start of our repentance. That's the start of our solution is to keep God's commandments and repent as the Israelites. Okay. Now, DJ Blaze did ask you a question. Yes, sir. Aaron. Yes, sir. He said, one, I'm going to ask two questions at mm -hmm. the same time. And I said, what are you out to achieve with this? And two, from me now, mm -hmm. is this not a sort of um, uh, uh, radical <laughs> renaissance mm. that uh, you're trying to pull? I guess okay. Sure. Okay, let's get Ezekiel yeah. 3 and 17. I guess Christ was radical too, but let's 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 see. Let's get Ezekiel yeah, 3 and 17. Yeah. I'm going to use a different scripture to answer the first question because I don't yeah. want to read the same scriptures. What is our purpose? Why are we here in Nigeria? Why are we going across the world teaching our people? Yes, and what do you, what, what do you want the people to do? To repent. That's it. To repent. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Mm -hmm. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So son of man, not referring to the son of man, but son of man, Christ's children. Mm -hmm. We're a watchman unto our, his people. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth mm -hmm. and give them warning from me. So hear the word at his mouth, which is the Bible. Mm -hmm. I can't, I'm not making this up. I'm reading out the Bible. I can't yeah. teach my own doctrine. I have to come from what is in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. When I say unto the wicked, mm -hmm. thou shalt surely die. To the wicked, thou will surely die if they don't repent. And thou givest him not warning. And I don't warn anybody. I don't. I let them continue in sin. Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. I don't show them correction according to the scriptures. To save his life. To save his life or her life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. They're still going to die if they don't repent, but... But his blood will I require at thy hand. But it'll be on my hand if I don't show my brothers and sisters how to live correctly according to Christ. Keep reading. Yet! Yet! If thou warn the wicked... But if we do warn the wicked... And he turn not from his wickedness... And they still don't want to repent... Nor from his wicked way... They still want to be an adulterer, a whoremonger, a, a homosexual, a, an idolater, a, a rapist... A kidnapper... A kidnapper, mm -hmm. but st stealing, from his, stealing his brethren... Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a sin as well too, yes sir... He shall die in his iniquity... He shall die in his iniquity... But thou hast delivered thy soul... I've delivered my soul because I've given the warning... Alright, uh, before we wrap it up, uh, we have about six minutes to go... Uh, you mentioned Solomon earlier. Yes, sir. Uh, do you know the man Mansa Musa? I've heard of him. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Mansa Musa. Yes, What's sir. the relationship? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not sure. Is any it, is there any relationship between the board? Uh, from from the things you've uh, the facts you've made so far, there's only one rich man in the Bible, and as uh, he's assumed to be the richest. So ever lived, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, in history, too, we have Mansa Musa, who is the richest ever mm -hmm. lived. Mm -hmm. What would you make of these two? Okay, uh, first, let's get Song of Solomon 1 and 1, jump to verse 5. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Oh, let me get, let me get the, read, read, read. the Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. I. So, no, read verse 1 again. Verse one, the song of songs, mm -hmm. which is Solomon's. So we know the title. We know the preface. Of this. this is talking about King Solomon. Now mm -hmm. jump to verse five. I am black. King Solomon said, "I am what? Black." He said, "I am black, but comely, but handsome, like the saying, you know, black and beautiful." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. as the tents of Kedar, the tents as Kedar were, were very black curtains, very as, dark, dark black curtains, as the curtains of Solomon. So first of all, I just wanted to show in the scriptures that King Solomon was and is a black man. That mm -hmm. came through the lineage of, of Judah, and we know Christ came through his lineage just to prove again that Christ is a black man. And mm -hmm. your question was, what would I say about the two? Uh, mm -hmm. Give me, give me a scripture dealing with Solomon's, uh, uh, Solomon's riches or his wealth. Actually, let's get Ecclesiastes 12. But, 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 but you're surely not, not going to find Masa Musa. In the no, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. I know, I know. We're not. We're not. That's why I have to filter mm -hmm. my, my answers through Masa, the scriptures. Masa Musa, is, uh, Masa Musa was a Malian. Mm. Uh, you, did, did you know that? No. So let's get... I, 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 I don't know that either. You know, from, from, from the north. Mm. Um, um, uh, Sahil, that is uh, West Africa, Mali, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. close to Nigeria and about Burkina Faso. Well, since we're talking about Africa... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Let's just read um, Christ 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. So as far as the comparison between the two, I know this. there's um, discrepancies as far as who was the richest man, but mm -hmm. from what the scripture says, King Solomon, he had navy ships and fleets going, going to and fro throughout the earth. When the mm -hmm. Queen of Sheba came to see him, she was amazed at all mm -hmm. that she's seen. And she was coming mm -hmm. from Ethiopia, yeah. a, a great kingdom, and she was amazed at all that she's seen. So to me, what I believe in is King Solomon was richer than Maximus. To me, because I'm just going by what the Bible says. 
Hold on. I'm going to show you what, can, more important than his riches, what King Solomon wanted to teach our people. Oh, did you get it? Mm -hmm. uh, 12 and 12 and 12. 12 and 13. Yes. And also, before we get off, I have to bring out the image of Christ in the Bible before we leave. I have to show that our King, our Messiah, mm. was a black man like okay. me and you. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Because we know King Solomon, he was very rich, very wealthy, very wise. But at one point in time, he did go off into, you know, a lot of uh, 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 whoremongering. He went into mm -hmm. idolatry with a different woman he was dealing mm -hmm. with. But he repented of that. So mm -hmm. after he repented of that, what did he say to us? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, meaning what, what is man's purpose in life? Fear God. Fear God. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man from the day we're born to the day we die. For God shall bring every work into judgment. So God shall bring all of our works into judgment on that final day. With every secret thing. With every secret thing. Whether it be good or whether, whether it be evil. Whether it be good or evil. So at the end of Solomon's days, he, the wisest man in the Bible, besides Christ, of course, told us to mm. fear God and keep his commandments. Okay, and I have another question. Okay. Are you done with that? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Uh, finally, uh, when Christ comes back... Mm -hmm. Who is it coming for and mm. what will he look like? Mm. Okay, Matthew 1 and 21. And I think that brings to the image you have. Yes, as well. sir, it does, and, it does. and also, as you're around enough, yes, sir. Uh, uh, as Christ is coming back, yes, sir. Mm. is he coming back a human person? Is there a heaven and a, and, and a hell? Okay, mm. okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's, and we have just so two minutes to wrap it up. Two minutes? Two minutes? Two minutes? Two okay. Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew one twenty one, Revelation 1. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Uh-huh. And she shall bring forth a son, mm -hmm. and thou shalt call his name Jesus, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. he shall save his people. He shall save his people and from their sins. From their sins. We know Christ comes to the lineage of the Israelites. He's coming back for only the Israelites, his people, possessive terms. Mm -hmm. Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Mm -hmm. His head and his hairs were white like wool. They said his head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So who on the earth has white, has woolly hair? We do. When we get older, it turns white like a sheep and like a coarse. Mm. Keep reading. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass, brown like cobalt. As if they burned in a furnace. His feet were brown as they burned in a furnace. If you burn jello for us or anything, it turns black. Mm. Christ had a black feet, black skin. You get Isaiah 47 and 3. How is Christ going to come back? As many scriptures, but I'm just going to get this one quick one real quick. Isaiah 47 and 3. The book of Isaiah, chapter 47 and verse 3. This is a prophecy about how he's going to come back and destroy America. Babylon the Great. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. All the secrets and evils are getting the cover right now, and Christ will uncover them all. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. Thy shame shall be seen. All the nations are going to look down at you. You're not going to be Big Brother America no more. I will take vengeance. He will take vengeance on what, the, what he did to his people as far as enslaving us for over 400 years in chattel slavery and killing us and raping us and taking our identity. I will not meet thee as a man. Christ said, I will not meet thee as a man. He will come back in a terrestrial body, but not like our celestial, uh, sorry, a celestial body. We have ter terrestrial bodies. He'll come back in a celestial, powerful body that he will be able to do all things. Everybody, it's been an amazing time with you. Uh... <laughs> Mike, I wish we had more time, and Ibuka, thank you for being here today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been uh, the truth about Nigerians, and Nigerians being the real Jews. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, my name is Olibera Uchichwe Anthony. Any last words? Uh, repent and keep the commandments. We are not Nigerians. We're not Igbo. We're not Yoruba. We're not Hausa. We're not Igala. We are the Israelites of the Bible. We have to keep the commandments of God okay. before Christ comes back. All right, you go ahead. Um, repent, keep the commandments. It's time that we come out of these lies that we have been holding on since the time of slavery and colonialism. Our history is in the Bible. We are the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. Those people that are living in the land of Palestine calling themselves Israelis, they are not the people of God. You are. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!